literally that is the size of my foot. It's like you're wearing cr Christmassy like welly boots. Am I crazy in thinking they actually look quite good? Yeah. I could have had two of them, tightened them there, and I could have had my own. And your jingle while my you own. walk. Yeah. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Quote the movie. Tell in the comments what movie is this. <coughs> I'm sick. I don't think I did that very well. I don't think I did it justice. I have been sick, but it's time that I got this video out. So. So I asked you guys on Instagram when you wanted this video to go out and the majority of you said to start the Christmas videos in October, probably because you're a lot like me and you want to start getting presents ready for your children now, which I completely understand. I have already finished Lila Rose's stocking and we've actually got quite a lot of our Christmas presents already. So I'm gonna try and do some different videos to help you out. Obviously today we're doing stocking fillers. I'm gonna try and do top toys because I think I did top toys for one year olds last year. So this year I'm gonna do Lila Rose's top toys that she's enjoyed this year, so for two year olds. And I will also do what we have bought Lila Rose, but I need to kind of finish off the Christmas shopping. So that is why this video is coming out in October because you guys, obviously want to start doing your Christmas shopping. Anyway, enough spiel. I'm just going to get straight into this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just whiz past me. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get straight into it. Right, number one. And if you watched my stocking filler video last year, you will know that this was number one on my video last year. This just proves how much we've used it. It's a little hand sanitizer, but with Paw Patrol. They also do Peppa Pig. So if you watched my video last year, you'll know that it was Peppa Pig last year. I kid you not, we keep this in her changing rag and we always use this it doesn't like obviously with my eczema when this goes into this like the cuts it doesn't actually sting and it's a moisturizing hand sanitizer as well so i thought i'd put this one in the stocking this year so i think this was like 99p or a pound yeah paw patrol one pound okay next up on the same lines as paw patrol i think this is a really good idea and i think i did this last year characters i think is a really good idea to put in a stocking so i'm going to take these out of the packaging and just dot them around in the stocking. So this one I picked up in b and I think this was only 3 dollars which I thought was really good for Paw Patrol. They're not like the proper outfits, but they're like, I think the superhero outfits or something. It's stuff that she doesn't have to necessarily open. She can just pick out and be like, oh, hang on, there's Chase. Is there any more in there? And then keep digging. So I thought that was quite cute. Now this was £1.60 from Sainsbury's. I thought this was actually a really good idea for a stocking filler. Kinetic sand, so cool. We haven't actually got any kinetic sand yet, but Lila Rose is obsessed with her sand box that I made her. So I thought this will be something fun to play with. I don't really know what kinetic sand is. I think it's more moldable or something. You guys can tell me because you probably know better than I do. I want to say she's probably going to want to get it out on Christmas morning and that'll go all over my bed. For £1.60, I thought that was a brilliant stock and filler. And it was really inexpensive, actually. I thought Kinetic Sand was meant to be really expensive because that's actually the proper brand as well. Let's go to the stuff that I got from Primark, which I really love their little accessories in there. I think they're really sweet. First thing I got was this little Minnie Mouse lip gloss set. This is so cute. So this is definitely 3+. plus. It's something that Lila Rose doesn't usually do, but she's got an older cousin who loves her little lip balms and things like that so i thought i'd get her her own so this was one pound fifty for a set of two again i think i'll probably just take these out won't wrap them i've learned from last year where it was fun to unwrap things with her but it was also nice to for her to just pull things out and see things straight away that she can use and play with and it just saves on wrapping candy floss scented and raspberry scented so they don't taste of anything but they're scented as well so i thought that was really sweet a really nice idea for little growing girl like before it was baby toys and now it's getting into like more grown-up things it's, it's really sad i also saw this one so this one was three pound in primark as well so it's just like a little stationary set with i don't know if you guys can see sorry my camera's really bright today there you go that's better a mini mouse pencil case which she's obsessed with pencil cases and bags inside you've got a mini mouse notepad little i didn't realize those were in there actually little um sticky notes as well two little pencils a pencil sharpener a ruler and some mini mouse rubbers these are quite cute they got like all the different characters on them how cute is that this is probably something she can just get out and mess around with while we're in bed still trying to wake up so she can do a little bit of drawing in her new mini mouse pad and i know she's just gonna love that bag as well so three pound for that one and then the last thing i got from primark i was so excited when i saw this if you guys know i am back to dental nursing. I've been a dental nurse for a while now. I'm really excited about this. I'm probably gonna use this more than her, but this was one pound 
in their little accessory range. How cute is this? So if you don't know what this is, you do know, everybody knows. It's a little timer, a tooth timer. I need to start getting her to clean her teeth longer. Like she is very good at cleaning her teeth, but you know with kids, they kind of just want to brush and then put it down. So I thought this would just get her to clean her teeth a little bit longer. I love the fact that they've got two little teeth at either end as well. I thought that was so cool. I can't wait to use that myself. <laughs> okay, next up is something that I got in the middle aisle of, I want to say Aldi. Was it Lidl or Aldi? I think it was Aldi. And it was only a couple pound as well. So it's just this little bath set, which they did have in Paw Patrol as well. So as you can see, it's like a little bath netted bag and then it's got a suction to go on the side of the, the bath. So they're just like plastic cards, but the idea is that they're supposed to stick against the tiles or the bath. And then we can basically play some memory games or some snap. Or just even look at them and mess around with them. So for a couple pound, she's gonna, it's gonna keep her occupied. So when I'm trying to do the dreaded hair wash. On the same lines as bath toys or shower toys, I got these ones from Poundland, obviously just a pound for three. I thought these are quite cute. Lila Rose absolutely loves the color blue. So I thought she'd enjoy these ones. Um, she really loves her ducks actually. She's only got two ducks, but when we have a shower, obviously it's pretty quick, but it's the first thing she goes to is the ducks. So I think I'll probably take these when I take these out of the netting. No, I quite like them being in the netting on their own, but I'm not gonna wrap these. I have to probably leave them how they are. Bath toys is a really good stocking filler. I think I said that last year as well. Next up is just some hair accessories. I can't actually remember where I got these from. I wanna say possibly home bargains, but I'm really unsure. And they were only probably a pound or so, one pound 40. It's definitely not B&M, is it? No, I think they're from Home Bargains. So yeah, I just put some of those in. You can never go wrong with that. Also the standard toothbrushes. I'm pretty certain these were in bargain buys. I've said this in my vlog actually, haven't I? In bargain buys in um, Taunton. I don't know if they do a bargain buys anywhere else, but I think these were like 99p for four. And they're actually really cool because they're crocodiles. They're different colors and they've got suctions on the bottom as well. So normally I would only get like one nice toothbrush, but I thought 99p for four, can't go wrong. So yeah, that's gonna last us a little while. So I'm gonna pop those in there as well. Now I'm just gonna come on to the last couple of bits. So this one I got from Proper Job, which is really random. I've gone really random places to uh, find different bits, but I thought this was a really nice stocking filler. So this was, I think only like pound twenty nine or something like that. But it's just little alphabet flashcards and they also have the number flashcards as well. It does say ages three plus, but I think you could have this for even younger. I'm actually going to get these out right now because I want to have a little look at the quality and stuff and just see what they're like. I don't think you can really go wrong with flashcards. I mean, you could do so much with flash flashcards. Like sometimes we like to play like a memory game where I'll put a few down. I'll tell her which ones they are, turn them over, and then I'll say, right, find the apple. And majority of the time she'll go to where the apple was put, like turned over. But I don't think you can go wrong with it. Obviously these ones are focusing on oh, the different letters, which is gonna be really handy now that she's come to that higher preschool age. A simple stock and filler in proper job. And I'm pretty certain it was only like one pound, one pound 29. Now last thing, this is really random and I don't know why I've saved this till last because it's not really the best. I couldn't help myself. This is a legit, baby bottle for a real, real life baby, a real new one. How tiny is this? It said it was from zero plus, but it only fits two ounces in. How cute is this? But I thought Lila Rose could use it for her dollies and it's more realistic than the baby bottles that she's got. So I think that's really random, isn't it? And I don't really know why I did it, but it's so tiny. I would say that must be for a premature baby, must be. I mean, they grow out of having only two ounces very quickly. So perfect for her little dolls. So that is everything for her stocking. And if you watched my video last year, I kind of gave you a nice long list of things at the end of the video to kind of help you out. Some ideas of different stocking fillers for like two plus. To be honest, I was gonna try and do the same at the end of this video, but I would probably say the exact same stuff for three plus. It's very similar in terms of bubbles, Play-Doh pots, um, I can't remember what I said now. What I'll do is I'll leave that video in the description. If you guys want to go and check it out, you might get some more ideas of what I gave Lila Rose last year. And also obviously all the different ideas that I leave at the end of the video. This video is more giving you hopefully some inspiration and some ideas, but just showing you what I got Lila Rose anyway. So, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. Go in and have fun picking some stocking fillers for your children. And yeah, there are more videos to come to help you with buying for your child as well so look out for the 
toy top toys for two year olds is probably what it's going to be called and also what we're going to get lila rose so kind of gift ideas for three three plus i'm gonna say three year old yeah three year old if you haven't hit that subscribe button already and you'd like to then please don't forget to hit it before you leave because it really helps to support my channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye